So the way it's designed, it's designed like an iPhone. So let me explain. Here we have our proprietary technology, proprietary ACDC technology, multi-level technology. So you've got one ACDC core, second ACDC core, DC-DC core, DC-DC core. So we got like the equivalent of a four core microprocessor here. In the back, bus matrix. The bus matrix allow any input going to any output allocating any of the power conversion core at any single moment in time. Maestro technology. The Maestro technology, as you can see here, is responsible to keep the energy okay, in tow. So basically balancing the energy mix all the time into your unit, all certified, of course, in that context. So let's make two examples very simply. Okay, The first one, the artificial intelligence system find out that, well, very sunny today. I got excess solar energy, right? My forecast about the use of energy in the house using energy right now, I have excess. Price on the market, low. I'm gonna keep it for tonight. So I need to store it in my battery, stationary battery. Car is not Car battery. Perfect, so what's gonna happen? Maestro gonna tell the bus matrix, okay guys, go from PV in, affect one DC-DC core, go to the battery out. Keep in DC what should stay in DC. Don't convert if you don't have to convert, right? So this car and is going into it. Well, just arrived home. I need to go 16 kilowatt on this unit right now, okay? I'm gonna use the grid because I need more power right now. I want to bypass the 11.5 kilowatts into it, going DC, plug. Bus ma Maestro, okay, take EC from the grid, bus matrix. Take the two AC DC core here and basically merge them into a one big single core and then go into the DC straight into the car. So therefore, in parallel, I got my solder to the battery and I can go and still charge on the other side. So we have to rethink a bit the way we're looking at the worlds into the home energy because this is a home energy station, not necessarily just a charger. So DC 400 volts? DC 400 volt, it's up to 600 volt. This unit can go as low as 150, as up at 600 volt. And then AC would be 240 or? Yes, yeah, so it's a typical level two uh, in that context. A fully throttable 9.6 kilowatt sidekick. Oh, do homes get 400 DC service? That's not, hmm? for, homes don't normally get They're, 400. The AC would be coming into the home probably. Where, where's the 400 DC? But that would be coming out from the solar? Oh, from the solar, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, or we convert the AC from the home into the DC yeah, sure. straight to the car in yeah, that yeah, context. Yeah. So you have to think about it more like a computers than a normal separate aspect. And the foundation, the genesis of this, remember the world before the iPhone? Garmin GPS on dash, flip phone, Blackberry, flashlight, <laughs> right? MP3 players. It was a whole like, a series of hardware, fully independent, it was great product, right? but not integrated. So seven years ago, we go into it and we say, okay, where's the iPhone of energy for the homes? And this is what the main difference here. So one single unit to run them all fully integrated under one roof. Then, now that I say this, on top of it, we have an additional microprocessor here. And this additional microprocessor here is running the AI, the machine learning, and all the advanced analytics, including your economic dispatch. This is where the solar forecast, the load forecast, we just learned from you. We know your electrical contract, we have weather coming in, and then we can plan in advance what's going on. Also, we have an app store, so people can basically subscribe and download different applications. What would be an example of an application you would download? Let's go into, uh, into the screen. We're gonna use this here. We have already partners that's going to be launching partners on the platform right now. This unit, by the way, is shipped right now. It is in, in homes and we're in a soft launch mode. We're going to invite you guys to a massive press release, probably Q1 next year uh, to show it. But right now we are uh, soft launching the app. So a very good example is our partners here for Meta or WaveGrid is a good example, right? You got this unit. This unit, by definition, trying to save you money. So to forecast your load, your son, your car, and we keep it like this. But you may want to export excess energy to the grid, right? And you may want to be compensated by the utilities by exporting to the grid. This is where you need a virtual power plant access, or you need to have access to a program. So you can, a good example here, you can subscribe to different programs that are gonna allow you to export energy to the grid. So in one click. So the way it is, just like an iPhone, right? You got 
powerful hardware, you've got the operating system, you've got the app stores, but we're not the telco providers. We have some utilities that's going to propose you different programs here. Uh, we have couple of new apps that's gonna come and we can announce it uh, just fun apps it just opened and unlock basically a new world of energy so this is basically the way it is done so our partnership with Volvo because this is a new platform this is a generation 2 platform for Volvo right this is the first uh, new platform it allows us to do one extra miles with the x90 because Volvo is doing their own software uh, internally, they have the full control on the platform, so we can basically extract more working with Decibel and Volvo in bi-directionality. Where you can basically see, we have the screen here, there's a Volvo app coming, you see a lot of things that's gonna come eventually, so it's gonna be a tighter integration than normally that you're gonna have with a normal car. And we're talking here about a 111 kilowatt hour battery. This is quite a lot of power. So you can definitely do different things. Of course, people think about blackout. Uh, who doesn't do blackout these days about bidirectionality? Mm -hmm. This is fun. But we're also talking about doing partial discharge during dinner time. Price of energy is high at dinner time, so what are you gonna do, right? Parcel discharge from the car into your home, not buying very expensive. This is all done automatically uh, by the unit, and then you're barely touching the energy in that car, and you have all the night to go back. That's why speed also is important because if you extract a lot of energy, you need to put a lot of energy back during the night. Speed of charge is also very important. So this is the kind of integration we can do with Volvo. This is kind of being unique with this car. Like you wouldn't want to charge it back up at seven kilowatts when it's a yeah, because I, kilowatt hour battery. You, you got it, and on top of it, if I, on top, extract all the information, yeah. you know, the, the juice. So that's why we say it's powerful when parked, yeah. and this is really transformational. So the bidirectionality is great, but also now you can charge directly from the sun to the car it's also a game changer you keep in dc what should stay in dc you only go in ac when you have to go back in ac so in average we're 25 percent more efficient right. this way that, what, like eight percent or something lost from almost 25 in real time in real life because the fact is that they say 96 percent as you know right sure. but when you put it on a benchmark it's for a very specific voltage for a very specific power output and you check the round trip efficiency exactly when in a round trip you're about 25 percent more efficient that way paul dutchman design the unit, you know, real designer. So we try to not have, you know, industrial looking uh, product. So it's kind of basically work perfect alongside the Volvo. And is there a, like a standard 400 volt DC bus or 400 to 600 volt DC bus that is used from like that unit to the battery or that unit? Yes, that is correct. Okay. So with our partnership LG, for example, yes, we have, we're going directly into the DC for the ESS. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much. It looks really interesting. Thank you.